Capricorn, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you so much love and light. Thank you for being back here with me for another love reading for February. Don't forget to check out your reading from last week. That's up on my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. Let's take a look and see what is coming in for your love life Capricorn in February. All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And before I begin your reading, Take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Capricorn, let's see what kind of energy is coming your way for your love life in February. So I can see Libra and Virgo energy here. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Libra or a Virgo, or you could have that energy coming your way. You guys might be cross watching this, or you could have that energy moon or rising. I feel like there's gonna be an effort that's made for someone to open themselves up, um, open themselves up to seeing the truth about something. That's what I can see because um, there's this energy coming through of all the thoughts that someone has and like they have all of these thoughts swirling around in, in their mind. And if they would just um, stop thinking so much and just be more honest with themselves about what's right in front of them, they would see the truth about things. Because this is like something that's going to be revealed. And once it's revealed, there's no unseeing it. There's no turning back. That's very important for you to know. I see a lot of um, enlightened energy, like enlightened as far as seeing the truth, seeing the truth about a situation, seeing the truth about a person. And it's like, it's honesty. That's not the easiest thing to hear. It's not the easiest thing to face. I will be honest with you and tell you that because to see the six of wands come through with this three of cups in reverse. If someone is, is hoping and if someone has themselves like wrapped up in some kind of third party situation, it's important for you to know uh, the truth about things and that I just don't see that connection being successful. I don't see that as um, going in your favor because there's a lot of third party energy that's I'm picking up on for, for some of you here. So maybe you have someone that's either like trying to pursue your person or maybe someone like watching this or cross watching this knows that they're involved um, with someone who's involved with somebody else. Cause there's like a triangle here that I can see. It's very important that someone is like honest with themselves about if that's really gonna work out. Um, because I just see where there's all these, these thoughts, all this worry, things are going to come to the surface, things are going to come to a head and they're going to come to light. So someone is going to see the truth, whether it's um, the realization that they have, that perhaps they're investing in someone in vain, or it's just like this being revealed about what's coming between them and the other one. That's very important. So what I would say is if, if someone watching this here does have themselves, um, it, they put themselves in a position where uh, they know that their person is with someone else, you know, there's a lot of different circumstances in love. There are no judgments here. But if you're wondering, is this person gonna walk away from where they are and come to me? I honestly don't see that happening. The third party energy is not going to be successful. 
So that's just important for someone to hear. Um, and if you watching this are uh, in like a love triangle like that, just know that it's going to be revealed. It's going to come to the light like your person. There's a lot of energy showing me that your person might find out about that. There's like a lot of secrets being revealed in February. That is what I can see, you guys. Okay, I want to look at this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords represents so many different things. It's like anxiety. Um, it's uh, not seeing what's right in front of them, not seeing the truth. Even though it's right there. And to see it come in reverse, it lets me know that this person who has maybe turned a blind eye to things is not going to turn a blind eye to things anymore because they're, they're going to see what's right in front of them. Pisces energy is here, you guys. Um, maybe some of you are dealing with a Pisces. You might have that energy moon or rising. Or there could be like a just like a Pisces in your energy. You know something, if whoever it is that's been afraid to let themselves see the truth about things, the truth that maybe deep down they really feel is there, you're going to feel so much better once you let yourself see the truth. Once, or maybe even someone who needs to like live in their own truth, you might be surprised how freeing that is. Once you just like put it all out there, it's that your reading Capricorn is all about things that are hidden coming to the surface. So for some of you, it might even reveal secrets that's being kept around you. Um, for others of you, it could even just be like your own um, anxieties that you deal with and a lot of things coming up that you'll have to deal with. But you know what? It's it's the best thing because I see how much power the truth brings to you. Power that um, once you have it, you'll never let anyone take that from you again. Okay, that's important. Um, there's a lot of significant messages in your reading. I can see where this might be an emotional month. Because for some of you, say you're single and you're watching this. Um, that is the energy of like whatever is, is like standing between you and you and like maybe someone coming in i can see that there's a lot of emotion that someone has to like deal with and heal from and i see that happening this month for others of you you might have even had a suspicion maybe um something's going on with your person or like secrets being kept i i definitely see the energy of someone who's trying to interfere in the connection but that person's not going to be successful and if you watching this, um, know that you're with someone and they're with someone else. For some reason, you're in this third party energy. I just don't see it being successful. And I see it being like, like all put out there. So it could even, you might even be um, surprised how freeing it feels to not have to be in that position anymore. Okay, Capricorn, I want to look at this High Priestess. I don't know if I mentioned the initials B and J are here, but they are. Let's see. There's definitely um, a lot of a lot of messages for someone uh, that they need to hear about if they should stay in this situation that they've gotten themselves into. There's not a commitment that's going to come from it. Um, and uh, strong, strong Pisces energies here again. There's not a commitment that's going to come from that. And it's not really a path that you should try to like uh, carve out for yourself. I see where that path is blocked. Seeing this page of cups come through in reverse. I know that someone here may even make a lot of excuses for their person. Uh, like I said, turn a blind eye because maybe it's easier to um, not see the truth. I, I get that. But I know that the truth is going to come out uh, this month. 
that's that's the energy around you guys and it's seeing things from a whole new perspective i mean that's why this enlightened energy like it keeps coming through you know the hanged man pisces with that light around his head is like um waking up and seeing something so for some of you um this energy is more emotional And it's dealing with those emotions that maybe you don't want to deal with. For others of you, if especially if you already know you're in that kind of situation, wondering if it's going to work out, I don't see it working out. And I see where um, that energy, because someone's doing, a, a, they're, it's like they've cut out all logic for some reason when it comes to this person and the connection, and they make decisions solely based on what their heart tells them. Because I feel like they turn a blind eye. But this month, that, that energy is not going to persist anymore. It's um really doing a lot of soul searching and seeing the truth. And I know that that's not the easiest thing to deal with, um, especially emotions that we try to not feel. So I just think that it's important to prepare yourself to feel a lot of emotions this month. And especially for those of you that already have your suspicions about something going on, someone interfering in your connection, I definitely see that energy of a person coming between two others. Okay, I wanna look at this Virgo energy here. Cancer is also here, you guys, as well as Sagittarius. So you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, a Sagittarius. You might be cross-watching this, or you could have that energy moon or rising. It's like um, some of you are in going through karmic lessons right now, and once you choose to say, hey, you know what? I've learned what I needed to learn from this experience. I'm going to sever the ties with this person and choose to go down another path. I would strongly suggest that you do because that's when you have a kindred spirit that comes to you. Um, but it's not until you let yourself uh, go through those emotions, feel it. It's not until you let your, it's not until you like really, Take a look at yourself and maybe the choices that you've made. That's for someone. And, you know, that goes in a bunch of different directions. Uh, whether or not it's making like bad choices and in, in, in love, like maybe choosing the wrong person. Maybe someone's choosing to put themselves in a situation where they know that it's like it's not going to be a good outcome. Or it's just you have a lot of emotions that you need to process. It's important that you uh, like turn all of this energy and, and apply it to yourself, to your life, to focus it on yourself. Because I know that once you do that, you really rise up. You rise up spiritually, emotionally. You rise to a higher uh, state of mind. So for some of you, what I can see is maybe karmic lessons that are coming to an end because things are coming to light, coming to the surface. Once it's seen, it can't be unseen. And for some of you, um, especially if you've already had your suspicions that something funny is going on with your person and there's another one interfering, I see that you might find out. And I also see where... You may not see this right now, but when you look back at it, you'll you'll see how going through that experience led you down a completely different and better path. Something that you're meant because I feel like there's um relationships here that are being held on to like and really being forced where maybe someone is not listening to their intuition. But you know what? To get you out of that situation, the universe is, is going to reveal something to you um, that helps you um, 
that helps you move down another path, the right path for you. Because I think that some of you are going to see things about this person where maybe you thought that they were the one, maybe you thought it was um, meant to be more than it's actually meant to be. I know what you have coming your way is like the truth. This is like a true kindred spirit. It's twin soul energy. I feel like some of you are with like a, a false person now. And, and once you like let yourself see the truth about things, you're going to see, um, you're going to see uh, and feel something that you haven't felt before because this is like new energy coming your way after this period of letting go and maybe just letting yourself um, be alone. doesn't mean that it has to be like for forever. It's just important for you to get back in touch with yourself. And once you do that, once you come out of that cocoon, that's when you can align with... Uh, a destined partner it's messed up i know because we have to go through so many trials in life it's kind of like we get forged in fire and i can see that some of you are like going through a lot of emotion like that um but just know that the best is yet to come and i can and some of you may feel like this is a message of hope to you because maybe you're already in this place maybe you've already gone through this and you feel like um you feel like you can sense something, like you're gonna be blessed with something, something is coming in soon, and I see that energy for you. So there's a lot of emotions that are here because for others of you, it can just be um, emotionally what, what, what stands between you and your person now. That's what I can see because if if um there's things that have gone on in your connection where maybe it wasn't always successful, maybe maybe you guys weren't always faithful to each other or, or something like that. Um I see that you're going to let yourself see, like see the truth. You're going to let yourself feel, you're going to let yourself be open and it doesn't matter what age you are. If this is like your soul's growth. And I see where you guys just are like coming into your own in a lot of ways. Thinking things very deeply. Thinking about things very deeply. And maybe even like getting back in touch with your person now. Mending the connection. Resolving any disputes very peacefully. So there's a lot of messages for what's going on with different Capricorns here. Some of you know that there's certain things that you should let go of, certain things that you should release. And the sooner you do it, the better, because it just sends you into that Virgo energy where you, um, it's like you go into this cocoon and that's where you grow so much. And when you come out of it, that's when you can receive this divine partner that's supposed to come your way. So I know that there's a lot of confirmations that have come through from spirit, um, especially about like this interfering that I can see that maybe someone knows something is just off about the connection and they have refused to see the truth. I just know that the truth is going to come out this month. And um, don't let that scare you, Capricorn, especially like if you're with, with someone and you feel like everything is okay between the two of you, you know, don't automatically think that they're like off doing something behind your back. Because like I said, this is like emotional energy and maybe it's you and your person like really talking about things. Maybe you're going to open up to your person about things that have happened um, in the past that you haven't shared yet. Because I just see a lot of emotion that's here. And one once you do, it's going to bring the two of you together. There's a big warning to whoever is, um, has themselves in a situation where it's a third party situation and they know for a fact that they're in a third party situation. What you really need to know is that's not going to progress. That's not going anywhere. I don't say that to be mean. It's just like the truth of it. That's not going to be something that succeeds. You'll have success when you maybe just let yourself be alone for a little bit and you get back in touch with yourself. 
Uh, there's a lot of enlightenment that comes from that. And that's when you can actually align with this divine partner. Because I see a divine partner coming in. It's like either new energy or like you and your person um, coming, like getting closer. Okay, you guys. So I know that there's a lot of messages to take away Capricorn. That is what Spirit is showing me is coming through for you guys in February. Just know that I send you all so much love and light. I truly do. Thank you guys for being here with me. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in a few days.